ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back here a week from tomorrow, 1 p.m. as we face host the Fairfax Lions for the regional final championship game. Hey, this is Russ Burr with the Kirk and Bird Show live at the West Springfield Lake Braddock regional semifinal game where the Lake Braddock Bruins won 38 to 21. And I'm here with JT Bardo. He's a junior running back. He was killing it tonight with two touchdowns. JT, give me your thoughts on the nice game. Yeah, it started off a little slow, but coming out of the second half, we jumped on him. We've been looking for it next week, region final at home. You, the, the first time you played them earlier this year was a closer game. Mm, it, was, it was a close game, like, back and forth scoring, but we were prepared and practiced this weekend. Got it done. You guys really look good tonight. Again, it was 38-21. You had two touchdowns. You're in the regional final next Saturday against Fairfax High School. We played them earlier in the season. We beat them. Okay, that's head coach Doherty on the show, on my show. Getting another season. You told me how young you guys are. Did you guys expect to 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 do this well this season? Yeah, it, was, it was looking a little rough at the beginning of the season. You can ask anyone, they'll tell you that. Yeah, well that's being honest. Look, you guys have a lot to be proud of. I love the the, the, the energy of your crowd. I love your coaching staff and the way they were really involved and everybody on the sideline and y'all got the dopest uniforms in the northern region. So thanks, JT. Any last words? All right, man. Good job tonight. You are toting that rock. All right. So this has been Rusty Bird at Lake Braddock with JT Bardo as they head to the regional championship game. Thanks, man. Hey, this is Rusty Bird with the Kirk and Bird Show here live at the Lake Braddock versus West Springfield regional semifinal game. And I'm blessed to have with me right now Coach Dockery of the Lake Braddock Bruins. Yeah. Great job tonight, Coach. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, the kids, we, we weren't as sharp in the first half as we would have liked to have been. Score was a little closer, but we had a good halftime. We made a couple of adjustments and really decided we were just going to pound the football down the field. We felt like we had an advantage. And, uh, you know, the kids just answered the bell. We've been a second-half team all year. We've had three or four games where we've come in at halftime not really loving what we did. And uh, we just came out on top. We're excited to host the region uh, championship next week. But, um, you know, every week is a hammer now. So we got to yeah. be ready for the next one. It was a great game. Now, now, this game was not as close as your first game with West Springfield. Anything specifically you tried to do a little different? Well, they, they got us throwing the ball uh, the first time we, we saw them. And uh, so we, we definitely made some adjustments to our coverage. We got a little more physical with our inside receivers, which seemed to help. Uh, and I saw some great defensive back play trying like to go deep. Yeah, one. outstanding. They, everybody picks on him. He's the shorter of the two, but uh, he's the scrapper. He's going he's gonna to get after it. And they, both of those corners, they want the ball thrown at him. And uh, it was nice to see those PBUs late in the game because um, last time they were, they were catching those balls. And I think the kid threw for 280 the last time we oh, played wow. him, which isn't us at all. So it was good to see us just be a little more well-rounded on defense. Okay. And, Coach, I, I love running the ball, especially this time of the year. I played at Bethel High School 30 years ago. Coach Cos, we won state championships running a wishbone. I loved what you, did, you guys did tonight. I know yeah. you just got this. You want to enjoy this. But what, any thoughts about Fairfax now? It feels like a season ago. Um, we played really well defensively that game. And that was the first game we made our quarterback switch. So it was like game five. We went ahead and made a switch at quarterback. And went with our junior, Michael Cerise. So um, we'll see. I mean, they were they were kind of beat up when we played them last time. And to hear that score, what they did over uh, at South so, County yeah. tonight is uh, kind of a surprise. But uh you know, they're familiar. They, they beat us uh, twice last year, once in the regular season and once in the playoffs, and uh, we're going to do our best to return that favor. All right. Well, look, Coach, uh, congratulations again. I mentioned it before. My wife went to Lake Braddock. He's like, she's, like, asking for updates and everything, so this was great. So y'all got to come Saturday? Oh, we will be here. We will be here. Thanks again. Congratulations. Good luck next week. Coach this Doherty as the Lake Braddock Bruins advance to the regional final next week. This is Rusty Bird, Kirk and Bird Show. We're out.